on the stage right now, very funny guy. You've heard him on Sirius XM Radio. Give it up for Jason Sainz, everybody. Guys, wow, what a crowd. This is a lot of fun here tonight. Thank you for coming out. I feel like I can open up immediately and start bitching a little bit. I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> I wanted a new phone, and uh, apparently everybody I know is poor, so I couldn't get one of those. What I need it for is that my current phone is just broken. It doesn't work properly, especially with the text messages. I don't know if this happens with you guys with your phone. But my phone now likes to tell me that my text messages have been delivered, but instead plays with them up in space for like five or six hours, and then sends them. And I don't know that's happened, guys, and that's not good because text messages are very time sensitive. Right, they change tone very quickly. So at eight o'clock at night when I'm sending a text, hey, what are you up to? That's pretty innocent, right? But by three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> It's changed tone into, hey, what are you up to? Oh, I'm watching you. Also, brunch, not the best time to get a picture of my dick. So, uh, we're gonna fix this thing. That's fun when I'm uh, It's nice to be here in front of a crowd that's expecting jokes. I appreciate that. Um, that's not usually the way it goes for me. I'm usually telling jokes at inappropriate times. Like the, uh, the last time this happened, I was at the movies watching Pain and Gain. I don't know if you guys know that piece of crap. <laughs> but it stars The Rock. You know, the wrestler The Rock? And so I thought it'd be like a fun heist movie. No, The Rock plays a murderer. And there's a scene where he chops off this guy's hands and starts barbecuing him on a grill outside of his house. And I didn't know what to do, you know? So I leaned over to my friend and I whispered very loudly, You smell what the Rockies cooking? <laughs> Nailed it! The whole movie theater loved it, man. The whole aisle was cracking up, the family by. You know, next to me was spitting out popcorn. I think the couple on the date next to me fell in love. I felt like a rock star, you know? I felt too good. I couldn't let that joke die. So I went back to the 7.30, the 8.15, the 9.00. 10.45, the midnight show is the greatest night of my life! But that joke cost me $300. It's nice to be here on a cheaper night. I like my movies good. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer to see good movies, you know? Um, the only people I think still making good movies are Disney and Pixar. Those are the only guys... Thank you, man. That was Minnie Mouse in the back. I, uh, my favorite Disney movie is Aladdin. Love that. Everyone knows that. Classic. Classic. Best song is when they're flying around the magic carpet, falling in love. As a kid, I love that movie. But I just rewatched it recently, and I noticed that during that song, uh, during the first verse, they're flying around the Great Wall of China, but the very next verse, they're over by the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Now, I know it's a magic carpet, guys. <laughs> But if they're traveling that fast in between lyrics, I just want the song to reflect that a little bit, you know? I would love to hear a version go, I can show you the world. Ah! How many wishes do I have, Jeannie? None? Ah, oh, rats. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Went back uh, to visit my parents over the holidays. It was a lot of fun. It was in the house I grew up in. And I don't know if you guys ever return home and walk through the door of your old house and all the memories when you're a kid just keep flooding back, things you've forgotten for decades, you know? I just recently remembered that my first ever experience with marijuana was smelling it around the house when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. All I knew was that my dad would go into the bathroom for like 20 minutes, come out smelling like cool dad. <laughs> cool dad was way more fun than regular dad. I don't remember that. Like regular dad would call me son, but cool dad would call me bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Regular dad would sleep in on Christmas morning, but cool dad woke me up excited because he legitimately forgot to rewrap the night before. <laughs> yeah. Regular dad wouldn't let me see R-rated movies, but cool dad snuck me and my friends in to see Terminator 2 because he said that shit's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> He's right. It's begun already. It's begun already. I, uh, I like uh, smoking pot now and then. I'm not going to lie to you, find people. I enjoy it. I uh, can't do it like I used to, though, when I was a kid. I get too paranoid now. I can't get high and then go into a public restroom where they have an automatic toilet. That's, that flips me out. I can't handle it, you know? Like, because they seem too eager to eat my shit. And that's a weird thing. Right? When you're sitting there stoned, you know, you move one muscle and it's like, yummy, 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 yum. whoa, whoa, what the hell's going on? Take it easy, man, I'm not ready for all that. You know what's even weirder about an automatic toilet is that if, you, if it doesn't flush by itself, you have to wave goodbye to it in front of that sensor, you know, like, goodbye now, it's nice seeing you, we're done, I'll remember you, hey, how do you get rid of yours, Linda? Am I in the women's bathroom? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that joke in the dock, really. For me. I, uh, I can get stoned and watch anything on TV. I, that's one of my superpowers. I, uh, I, uh, I got stoned the other night and I started watching soccer for some reason. That's how stoned I was. You can tell I started watching soccer. I didn't know what was going on, people were running around, there's a ball involved, I know. But I loved listening to the announcer on the soccer game, because they're the most passionate announcers in sports. You know what I mean? Like, they just go crazy for what's happening on the field, especially to the guy who just scored a goal. Like, they're the most complimentary, you know, person. They, they say the most wonderful things about that guy. It's like borderline obsessive. It's a little creepy, you know? Next time you're watching, notice, oh my god! An incredible kick by Francisco! Unbelievable accuracy! What poise under pressure! What great legs! Great hair! Incredible body! He's got incredible eyes! You can lose yourself in them! He's a good family man! He takes care of his children! He pays bills on time! He'll hold you! He'll kiss you! He'll love you forever! Does he know my name? Does he get my text messages? Does he love me? You want to take a commercial break and cool off there? You're creeping everybody out. I'm allowed to uh, make jokes about uh, Spanish announcers. My, myself, I don't know if you guys were wondering, probably not. What is this guy's genetic makeup? Well, I'll tell you, I'm half white, half Latino. That's me. Um, thank you. What are you whistling for? Which side? Latino side? Fantastic. That's good. Uh, Latinos whistle, white people clap. That's how I knew it. <laughs> uh, but for me, being half white, half Latino, I've noticed that I'm never both at the same time. You know, I'm either white or Latino, depending on the situation. You know? Like when I talk to the police, I'm very white. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, sir. Not my business. <laughs> Apparently when I'm getting arrested, I'm Latino. So that's the problem. <laughs> also, when I first start dating a girl, I'm very white then, too. You know, I'm very shy, I'm polite, I want to make a nice impression on you ladies. But then later... <laughs> If I get you home, then I'm very Latino. I don't like wearing condoms. Sorry, it's genetic, I guess. Thanks a lot, guys. You're amazing. Have a nice time. I'm Jason Simmons. Give it up one more time for Jason, ladies and gentlemen.